So I'd like to show you how to make a human body, body model like this, um, with the organs. So you'll need a template, five pages, uh, like so. And um, what you want to do is to cut out the template and follow the key. Um, I usually put the key, when I cut it out, I put the key to the side so that I can consult it as I go. Um, okay, so I have this first page already cut out and um, folded per the instructions. So uh, the next step, once you have it cut out and folded, is to glue it. Um, you can use a glue stick, you can use Elmer's glue, any kind of glue really will work. Um, and just follow the instructions. So it says glue one behind here. So I put some glue on number one, put the same thing here, glue two behind here. I put glue right here on number two and just go ahead and fold. Just hold it so it dries there for a second, like so. Okay. Um, then the next step is to um, color and cut out your organs. So the organ page looks like this. Um, I definitely recommend that you color them before you cut them out, although it certainly will work to cut them out first. Um, as it happens, I have the organs already cut out and colored. So I'm going to go ahead and glue them in. So beginning, for example, here with the brain. Um, and you just line up the numbers. So this is number three. It has a three here. Just do line it up like that. Um, spinal cord goes here, like so. Um, next up is the kidneys and bladder. Now the advantage um, to the numbering system here is that by following it in order as you glue, you more or less get the organs back to front as they are in the human body. For example, the kidneys um, sit uh, toward the back of the body, and so the way this is being glued, they will wind up towards the back in this model. Here is the esophagus and stomach. Next up is the trachea. And you can um, label these on the back as you go, but you'll see there's also a worksheet included that can be um, put on the back of the model at the end with the organs numbered and their functions labeled. So eight, the heart, nine here, have the lungs. Ten is the gallbladder. Eleven is the pancreas. Twelve, the spleen. Oh, the liver. Small intestine. And large intestine. Um, okay, so then um, next step is to work on the front of the body. That would be this sheet here. Again, um, color it in, cut it out, and then this is going to be used as a support piece. So I have these um, colored in and cut out right here. I'm going to put this part to the side for a moment. So this part, you just follow the instructions as it says, fold over and glue into a stick, which I will do. glued it inside out as well, I suppose, but either way will work. And then this gets glued right behind here. 
um, and this will support the head and neck like so okay and then this part um, gets glued onto the body right here so I'm gonna put some glue right along here Um, glue it into place and then this should lock in the position like this so that you can open and close the body um, like this there we go okay uh, okay so we're gonna put that aside for a moment um, the next is to do the support for the back that looks like this and I have that already cut out and folded um, and so then it says here glue 20 behind here 19 behind here 18 behind here so I'm going to go ahead and do that um, 20 19 18 and this goes right on here and this is going to support the back when she's sitting up Okay, and then these are valley folds, so these need to get folded like so. Okay, so this part goes on the back of the model right here, lined up the bottom. Uh, make sure you line up the bottom down here when you do that. So, some glue. Next step is um, the legs. So she's going to sit on the legs right here. Um, so you cut the color and cut this out, the legs get folded there. So I have this right here. And um, this will be the belt as well. Oh, and I forgot to, I forgot to fold the legs. Um, they get folded about like so. This is so she can sit over the edge of a, a table and the feet can come up like this. Okay, so um, here are the numbers and those line up with the numbers shown here. So glue 24 here, 22, 23, and then the 25 and 26 go with this here, 26 and 25. So um, I think I'll put the glue here. And then take the model and just line it up on the glue dots. So 24, 23, here's 22, and then in the back, oh, the back, just make sure this is lined up 25 and 26. Okay. Um, and then the last thing is um, you do need to include the belt because otherwise she has a tendency to tip over. Um, so um, 27 and 28 get glued right inside here. So this piece like this. Um, and that's it actually the model is um, is done now it does come with worksheets like these that can be filled out um, and fit onto what's nice about this is that you can number the parts and, and write the function so for example um, you can put a three here and then write the function of the brain and the four here and write the function of the spinal cord and then once these are filled out they actually perfectly fit um, along the back here so you can put one side there and one side here and that way people when they look at the model um, can see what the different parts are and um, and what their functions are and that's it